The Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud are two objects in outer space that are often confused for one another. They have quite a lot of similarities but today we will be highlighting some of their key differences. The Kuiper Belt is a vast region of space that is located beyond the planet Neptune. It is at the very edge of our solar system, and is often known as the junkyard of various icy bodies and debris left over from the formation of our solar system. The Kuiper Belt is actually one of the largest structures present in our solar system. It is shaped like a donut and it is about 200 to 250 kilometers in diameter. Originally, when our solar system was formed, it left behind a huge amount of debris. Essentially, the Kuiper Belt is an area of all of the leftover debris and remnants of our universe, along with various other strange objects. There are many dwarf planets that are situated in this belt. They are also sometimes referred to as trans-Neptunian objects. The main body of the Kuiper Belt is also known to be home to more than a trillion comet nuclei. Aside from this, small to large bits of rock and ice, comets, dwarf planets and other debris are also located in this region. A lot of the Kuiper Belt dwarf planets are known to have many moons. These are smaller bodies, or binary objects, that orbit the planets. The Oort Cloud lies way beyond the Kuiper Belt. It is the most distant region of our solar system and is located beyond the dwarf planet Pluto. It is like a spherical shell filled with icy objects of space debris. Unlike the Kuiper Belt, the Oort Cloud surrounds the Sun. There is no real number to the amount of objects that are present in the Oort Cloud as they could range from billions to trillions. How was the Oort Cloud formed? When all our solar system was formed around 4.6 billion years ago, they left behind huge chunks known as planetesimals. Planetesimals are made up of the same stuff our planets are made of. Due to gravity, many of the planetesimals were scattered all across the solar system. Most of them primarily settled beyond Pluto and this region is now known as the Oort Cloud. There are billions of comets and icy giants that reside in the Oort Cloud. So, how do we differentiate between the Oort Cloud and the Kuiper Belt? Firstly, they have completely different shapes. The Oort Cloud has a spherical-shaped appearance whereas the Kuiper Belt is more disc-shaped. It is easy to tell them apart just by looking at them. We know that the Kuiper Belt is located beyond Neptune and the Oort Cloud is way beyond the dwarf planet Pluto. Most of the objects in the Kuiper Belt are frozen volatiles like ammonia, methane and water. It also contains dwarf planets and a few moons. On the other hand, the Oort Cloud mainly consists of asteroids, comets and space debris. The Kuiper Belt is the main source of short-term comets whereas the Oort Cloud is the main source of long-term comets. Both the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud are an integral part of our solar system. Although they are very similar at times, it is also quite easy to tell them apart. By learning more about these two structures, we are able to unravel the history and composition of our universe. If you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and share. Subscribe for more daily content like this.